Artificial imagination, which is basically the artificial simulation of human imagination, using artificial neural networks, EEG headsets, or brain-computer interfaces to directly interface with human imagination. Imagine a future where your imagination is directly tied to an artificially intelligent neural network, where you can produce in the external digital world exactly what you're seeing in your mind. That's the future of filmmaking. That's the future of art. So Netflix's new show, Love, Death, and Robots, is a great example of where the future of entertainment is going. We're going to see entertainment procedurally generated, where computers and AI create the three-dimensional virtual reality space that enables us to create in real time using just our thoughts in the future. So imagine in the future being able to walk into a space with a brain-computer interface or a neural lace implanted into your brain and just by the power of your thoughts, you're gonna be able to create any environment that you desire, just by thinking about it. The future is the age of the imagination, where you as the artist or you as the creator can create without any sort of interface. The, the interface fades into the background, so you won't, we won't even see the interface anymore. It's not like pushing buttons or dials anymore, or even coding. All of the AI does that for you. All you're doing is imagining and the virtual landscape or the digital landscape appears in front of you, and you can adjust that just by thinking about it. NVIDIA has created a program called Gogon based on generative adversarial networks, and it basically is giving us the ability to create landscapes, pictures, drawings, paintings, just by sketching the idea using neural networks. It fills in landscapes, pictures of trees, pictures of, of oceans, waterfalls, anything that you can imagine, the AI is doing that in the background for you. What we're seeing in the future is the disappearance of the UI. So the user interface is actually fading into the background and it's just human imagination now, directly speaking with AI. So what I find interesting about Love, Death and Robots are the episodes that are hyper-realistic. The episodes that look exactly like humans, there will be very little difference between filming an actual actor, a real human actor, versus these animations. So what does that mean for the future of identity? What does it mean for actors? What does it mean for Hollywood? What does it mean for us as creators or artists or animators? If you can put on an EEG headset or a brain-computer interface neural lace system, and if you can just think about the character or the landscape and it can appear in front of you using neural network information from an AI, then the, then the UI, the user interface, is no longer needed. I think that's the future of entertainment. It's the future of creation. It is the future of the digital cosmos that we've talked about before. It's this idea that we are, we're removing the tools so it's seamless communication, it's perceptual computing, it's imagination computing is what I'm calling it. This idea that you're communicating straight from your imagination into the creative process using AI and the user interface just disappears. So there's, there's really a question of what is the future of animation? Are we still going to need animators in the future or will AI become so intelligent that we can just think about what we want and those things will appear?